Now let's go to meteorologist Kirk Greenfield for another look at the forecast. Kirk, it'll be good weather tomorrow for the Memorial Bridge reopening. It certainly looks like it. We're looking at a stretch of dry, warmer weather coming at the end of this week. But for now, we have a few clouds. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite. Again, looking at that northerly flow, but then the lighter clouds that you see moving up from the south, those are the extreme outer bands of clouds coming up from the moisture and the hurricane to the south. Now, that does not mean the hurricane is coming. That just means this is the extreme edge, and it's overrunning us just enough to uh, cut some of the sunshine here. The Jandils Marriott a sky cam atop the Lafayette Hotel says we're at 72, 59 percent relative humidity, winds out of the north at 10, and the pressure 29.90 and falling. When we look at current temperatures, we have a very narrow range here. Charleston is 74, 73 at Athens, 72 at Parkersburg, 71 at Columbus, and then we drop down to the 60s as we get up by the lake shore. But the breezes are from the north at the surface, 8 to 10 miles per hour, and that has kept us somewhat refrigerated today. We're a good 5 to 7 degrees cooler than we were yesterday at this same time. Radar echoes nothing in the immediate vicinity. And when we zoom out, you just barely start to see some of the outer bands of the rain uh, stretching from South Carolina into North Carolina as the hurricane moves up into the Atlantic coast area. It is recurving off to the east and is not coming to the mid Ohio Valley. In fact, uh, the cold front that is pushed through already is going to tend to play bumper cars with it and uh, kind of keep it off from uh, the other side of the mountain. So we're going to be in pretty good shape. Very thin clouds coming up at the this point uh, across the mountains, nothing to be concerned about. Future cast suggests that we, as we go through the overnight, we'll see some clearing. And then as we start tomorrow, there may be some fog that'll have to burn off. But otherwise, we're off to a sunny and very warm day. Looks like we'll be progressing in the same direction as we get into Friday morning once more. So right now, partly sunny and, well, on the warm side because it's 72. Not a bad day for making a, a jog or a loop around the park. The allergy alert says pollen levels, a little bit of a rise coming in. It's expected to peak tomorrow and Friday with ragweed leading the pack. The humidity forecast suggests we'll be comfy for the next couple of days, but then by the weekend we'll come back up into the muggy conditions once more as the temperature rises as well. So mostly cloudy for tonight, 56 for the overnight low. Yes, there will be almost a full moon out there. They'll be in and out of the clouds. Then tomorrow, 77 for the high, a cool end to August to be sure. As we look at the extended forecast, we'll be up into the 80s as we go through the weekend and the 90s as we start the next week.